I remember it like it was yesterday. I had kind of a slump that year. I missed the cut at the Rolex and uh, I think one other invitational. So it took a couple of weeks off before that to get ready and uh, was really motivated going into that event because I love the course so much. And to win was just, you know, really exciting for me. And I remember letting out kind of like a scream, fist pump action on, on the last hole. And, uh, that was, it was a really cool event, and especially to win the inaugural event, it was, it was great. AJGA, as I said before, is the PGA Tour of the junior circuit, and um, this has prepared me for uh, my future goals and um, dreams for the PGA Tour and but I have a long way till then and going to Oklahoma State is gonna help that I hope and uh, that's the reason I'm going there and I just have a lot a long way to go before college and I have to get my game prepared for college and it's gonna be a tough team to make. Yeah I learned a lot uh, I kind of just remembered some shots that I hit at the junior players and because I obviously played well that week and, and tried to mimic that and um, one thing I've learned from AJGA to the PGA Tour is that you don't really have to play that different, you know. If you go out and, and play your game and, and uh, have fun, then it should take care of itself. And that's what I was just trying to have that attitude as being like a junior again at the, at the actual players and that helped me a lot. I'd say just, just play to your strengths and, you know, if that's aggressive, then and play aggressive. If it's not, then, you know, lay up and plot your way around the course. But um, I think the biggest key is to find what the easiest putt is on those greens and try to hit to that target um, because with that grain out there now, especially the greens are pretty fast, uh, if you get down grain it, it can be a little tricky. So putting uphill on those, on those greens is key. We played very similar pin positions. Uh, we played similar tee boxes, and I mean, even similar tee boxes. And we were in high school, and uh, so you know, it was a long course, it was a big course, it was very challenging. Um, I remember playing. I remember I was uh, played well on Sunday, and I got beat by a 30 footer on the last on 18 up the ridge at TPC Sawgrass. Uh, I remember birdieing 17 to the Sunday pin, a, a pin this year I was scared to go at, but I wasn't scared back then. Um, so maybe that tells me something. But uh, yeah, I mean, you play these golf courses that you then see later on, and any experience is good experience. And especially in my rookie year of playing these courses, you know, I can still draw back on the fact that I've seen the layout of these holes. I know going into it what ball flights you really need to have control of, whether you need to hit it high that week, whether you need to practice out of Bermuda rough, um, if, the, if there's a lot of bunkers, if you really need to work on the bunker game. Um, so the players was one where you know, I knew what shots I needed to have going into it, and I knew the layout of the course, not just from watching it on TV, but actually playing it. And uh, I could hit it in some different spots that I, that, a little further than I could hit it back then, reach some of the par fives, but um, all in all, it was uh, a very similar look.